We are just one day away from Notre Dame hosting Central Michigan, folks. It is a 2.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. It's on Peacock. This is the Peacock game. If you go to NBC, you won't be able to watch the game. It is on Peacock, so make sure you go and you get that Peacock subscription. It's $5, um, so I, I believe it is at least. So please do that if you're wanting to tune in to this Notre Dame game if you're not able to watch it inside uh, Notre Dame Stadium. Tim is going to give us his three thoughts on this matchup. Uh, I, I might even give a bonus um, little key to this game, and then we'll get into the score prediction and the odds and over under and all that good stuff, folks. Please do hit the thumbs up on this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content, uh, and go to blueandgold.com for more preview coverage on this matchup um, and for content wrapping up after the game. But your key number one, Tim, as Sam Hartman just continued to spread that ball around. Yes, I mean, that's been, I think, the telltale from the first three games how. He's not just, boom, I'm going to this guy or this guy. It's it's going to everyone. I mean, he has been unbelievable the way he just spreads the ball around. And that's some of the topics we've talked about, you know, in the last week together is Notre Dame really doesn't need a number one because Sam Hartman's going to find the guy he needs to find out of the five eligible receivers. And I think we've seen that in the first three games in the situation he plays with. So keep spreading the ball around. Keep making defenses have to defend all five. And that's just something that's out there. They don't have a Michael Floyd. They don't have a, a Chase Claypool. They don't have a Golden Tate who's going to go get the ball nonstop in the key situations. You really got to be prepared for Hartman, which goes back to his experience, his knowledge, everything that he's bringing to the table. His stats are outstanding. He's the second-ranked quarterback in the country. Ten touchdowns, no interceptions. He's playing lights-out football right now for Notre Dame. All right, key number two, offensive line, keep developing an identity. So what, what do you mean here, Tim? You know, you know, the identity of just five guys working as one, the identity of just keep working in these guards um, together, you know, just keep getting reps, brand new offensive line coach, the third one in third year and three years, guys just constantly working together. And, and Joe Rudolph, what he's doing is like, you're my five. I trust you guys. You're going to play the entire game until you're not basically. So, and it's just, just keep pounding the rock. I think we saw a little bit of that in the NC State game. You know, they upped the competition, and Notre Dame got pushed a little bit early. But as I talked about in, in our show a couple of days ago of the body blow mentality of just keep hammering and keep hammering, and that really wore down NC State, and they had huge runs in the second half, and their run game efficiency went up. So that's that's my whole thing, that identity of O-line U. This is an outstanding group. You got a bunch of NFL guys in there. Joel, probably the best offensive lineman in the country this year. So just keep working that identity one more week as they get ready for Ohio State coming to town next week. Through three games, and of course, Notre Dame's 3-0, and knocking off Navy, Tennessee State, and NC State. Notre Dame, the offense has forced 143 points. Um, the defense has only given up 30 to this point, Tim. So key number three, defense becoming a top 10 unit. Yes, and that's the thing, to, you know, Top 10 unit. I mean, there's top 10 in past, de past defense efficiency, total defense, scoring D, they're number 15. The craziest stat Mike, last year was, remember, they were dead last near de the bottom in red zone. They're top 10 this year through three games in red zone defense. So it's just that – it's the way they're playing. I mean, they play lights out, created so many turnovers, you know, just the bodies that they're playing. They're playing a lot of guys. They're rotating guys all over the place. They're going from – you know, their nickel, their dime, which is, as we know, is the Aztec, which they played nearly 20 snaps in uh, in the North Carolina State game. So it's a mindset. It's a lot of older players on this unit, some NFL top-notch guys at the, at the two corner spots, and just keep working and have a lot of fun this week, handle business, keep the points down, get out of your healthy, play a lot of football players in the second half. I would love to see getting ready for the Sneeds and the Bowens and a lot of these young guys um, here on defense. Christian Gray's been playing each and every game. Love to keep seeing him get developed as, once again, the, oh, get ready for Iowa State, Mike. My bonus here, Tim, key to the game, it's just avoid a Marshall slash Toledo. In uh, 2021, Notre Dame needed a heroic comeback. Jack Cohn popping the finger back into the socket. Uh, if you guys remember that, I think that's what it was. 
um, 32 to 29 win for Notre Dame against Toledo at home, losing 26 to 21 against Marshall last um, season. Just go out there and take care of business. Give me like the Bowling Green win in 2019, the USF win in 2020, the Navy win a couple uh, weeks ago. Give me one of those. So that is your bonus. Notre Dame, just don't overlook Central Michigan too much. Please just go out there and don't make us nervous. That is what we would like to avoid. All right, Tim, getting into score prediction time. We'll look at Odd Shark as we always do in, in, in the betting lines here. Um, the predicted score from Odd Shark is Notre Dame 39, Central Michigan 19. So that's Notre Dame winning the game, obviously. Central Michigan covering the spread in the total going over. So the spread opened at Notre Dame as a 30.5 point favorite. People have been hammering that uh, Notre Dame line, so it's gone up to 34.5 in favor of the Irish. And the over-under has actually dropped. It opened at 52.5, and it's now at 51.5. So um, people, again, are, are still 76% uh, of the spread consensus at 34.5 on that, that uh, Notre Dame line right now. So uh, with that in mind, Tim, your score prediction is what? Yeah, quick and easy on this one. In our preseason show, I predicted 45-10. I'm not going to change it. So it's like, let's just keep it. I love your talk there about, you know, Toledo and Marshall the last two years. Exactly. Go out, handle business, get Sam Hartman his touchdowns, keep this momentum going, have the defense just constantly just keep improving, take care of business here at home, get out of this thing healthy, play as many guys as you can, and do what everyone expects you to do. Win the game big, and let's get this thing rocking and rolling for the next week when the Buckeyes come to town. And we'll, we'll talk about that football game next time we see everybody. Yeah, Tim, we might have to do an extra live show next week because there's just going to be so much to talk about uh, Notre Dame versus Ohio State. Folks, please do hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to our channel for more content if you've not done so yet. After the game, within like three or four minutes, Tim and I, Tim and I will be live on YouTube to break down Notre Dame Central Michigan. So please do plan to check us out right here on the Blue and Gold YouTube channel. Hit that thumbs up, folks. And as always, we'll catch you next time.